Hey, what's up, Who's Your Brand family? Guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, my name is Brad, and if you are already on this channel, thank you guys so much for clicking on and watching another video. So today, guys, I thought, why don't we do a tutorial on Affinity Photo? One amazing thing about Affinity Photo is it is a one-off payment of $50, and you have it for life. So unlike Photoshop, there is no monthly subscription fee, and with very similar features to Photoshop. Hey guys, what's up? So right now we're in Affinity Photo and this is what it looks like in the raw developer when you're working with raw files. So as you guys can see here on the right hand side, we have a whole bunch of things that we can change. We have some sliders and up here, it's gonna tell you your settings of the camera and your picture. So we have ISO 100, your aperture 2.2. It was shot on 50 millimeter and this is my shutter speed. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not going to go too much in depth here working in the raw section, but the one thing I'm going to do with you guys, we're going to move the clarity up and we're going to bring this, let's say to about 39, just to give it more of a sharp look. So once you've done everything you want to do in here, we're going to hit develop. Um, this is my friend June. You guys probably recognize her. We've done a lot of shoots together and a lot of videos together. Uh, she has a really cool look. She is from African and Russian descent. So. Right, so when we get in here, we are ready to work. So on the left hand side, guys, we have all of these tools and down here, the very first thing we're gonna do, um, the thing that I like doing is coming over here to her skin and we're just gonna work out any little imperfections that we can see. So the first thing we're gonna do is come here to in painting brush. And because this is not gonna be so intense, um, it's not like a portrait edit just of a close up of her face. I'm not gonna go uh, like a crazy retouch. We can just do it like this, it's gonna be fine. So let's bring the hardness up. So a quick story about how June and I met. As you guys know, I love talking to strangers from my videos and meeting random people. So I put a message on Facebook, like an expat group we have here in Barcelona. I put a message on there saying like, I just found a huge field of berries and uh, I went there to pick them and then I wanted to go back and pick them, but I wanted to see if anybody else wanted to come with. I wrote a message on Facebook asking anyone if they wanted to come pick berries with me and June hit me up. The next thing I want to do is I want to change the color of these trees but I don't want to change the color of her skin and her clothes or anything like that but I really want to make the trees a really vibrant orange color so the very first thing I'm going to do is come down here to our layers where we have all of our layers and probably if you guys have used photoshop all of these seem very familiar to you so we're going to come down here to layers and we are going to hit selective color let's move over here to our yellows so what we can do is we can move the yellows all the way here until we get like a super vibrant look let's do it again with reds okay so for me that's looking good now how do we get it off june that's the question. Okay, so we the first thing we're gonna do guys, we're gonna hit Command and G, and this is gonna put our selective, and anything we're gonna put in this group, it's gonna put it into a group, so we're only gonna be working on this stuff here. So once we have our group, we are going to put a mask over this, we're gonna put a black mask, so how do we do that? We're gonna hit Option or Alt, and we're gonna come down here where the mask is, and hit Mask. And now what happens is guys, when you put a black mask over everything, it covers the work that we've just done, right? It covers that adjustment layer. So how we can get it back though, we can actually paint over it with white paintbrush. So as you guys can see up here, we have the white selected as our color. If we hit B now, and we change this back over to white. Yes, we have our orange back. So now anything we paint over is gonna bring us the orange back. Uh, up here in the corner, we can play around with the size, opacity. So I'm gonna quickly just go over this stuff. So for the look I'm going for, I want this photo to be colorful, I want it to be fun and popping. So if there is a little bit on her hair, say something like this, then it's not really gonna be an issue for me. I don't really mind it at all. So that's good. Just probably not around her face, I'm not gonna do, but everywhere else. Um, if you guys need to as well, you can actually change your brush. It might be set on a brush that's very hard, like one of these. So if you want to, you can flick through and you can play around here, the size and opacity like we saw earlier. Maybe we can find a way to 
Okay, but that's it. Um, if you want to go back as well, like for example, if I, I don't want to keep this here, then I can hit Command and Z and it's going to remove what we just did. But actually to me that is looking perfect. That's like just what I want. So I'm going to come back here and and if you guys want to see a before and after of the work that you've just done, you can always come over here, click it and look at it. It's like a huge difference, which I'm feeling that I love that one. Okay, you guys, so the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to work with our curves, which we all know is something I love doing. So we're going to come down here to curves. If you guys are not familiar with it, we have the highlights up in this end. We have the shadows in this end. So all we're going to do is bring these up and down. I'm going to do the classic S curve and I'm going to do this on every single layer. Yeah, so let's go through and do every layer like this. Well, every, every curve. Okay, for me that is looking insane, I love it. It's looking very intense, but the one thing I'm gonna do now is come over here to the opacity and we're gonna turn the opacity down just a little bit. So let's say about halfway 55 is good. And you guys can see it makes an immense difference when you turn it on and off. It's like popping, it looks so good. Okay, Nick, you guys, you know what? This is really crazy because right now I'm recording from my old room, like when I first moved here into Barcelona where everything began, which is so cool. We have like a little studio set up here, which is amazing, but it feels so cool to be back. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is, how about let's get some, let's work with some levels. So the levels, this is gonna be like the shadows, the highlights, and the good thing about when you're working in levels is that you can change this without uh, destroying any of the other color. So we're gonna come over here to the black and just before we start seeing these other colors appear, I'm gonna stop there. The same with the white, I'm gonna bring the white just over here to the red and that's enough there. And same again guys, like really small differences when you're doing things, but they make a huge difference, right? When you turn it off and you can turn it on. One other thing I feel like doing with a selective color is kind of changing her skin a tiny bit. So I'm gonna do that. Now that we've done the trees, the really, well, the real intense color that we needed, um, we can focus more on her skin now and it doesn't matter if the trees change a little bit more. So I'm gonna come here to yellow and let's take that cyan just down a tiny bit. Next one. One thing I normally like to do as well is bring the saturation down just a tiny bit and always bump the vibrance. I'm feeling like the green as well. I want to change this green. So let's make the green just like make it pop. So we're going to come back here again. So look at the color um, and let's say greens and let's play around and see what looks better. Okay, so for this one, cyan is looking good. I'm going to move it over here um, and maybe magenta. You can see if we move it to the left. It's starting to look good. So if I turn that one on and off, you can see as well the difference, which looks really cool. Um, another thing that we can do as well, guys, we can actually enhance her eyes. So I'm gonna come over here on the, we have our selection brush tool. And I'm just gonna highlight the areas. Well, we're gonna click on backgrounds, gonna make it easier. And if you need to take anything away, just say for example, we do too much like this. All you have to do is hit option and then just go around, hold the mouse down, the right, sorry, the left, hold the left and yeah, and then you can just click over it. Okay, more or less that's good. It's gonna be a very small adjustment. So we're gonna move the vibrance up. We're gonna bring the saturation up, get a little bit more color in there. One other thing I wanna do is bring the brightness up. You guys need to be careful when you do this with the eyes, for example, because if you go too crazy, you can see it really looks bad. So yeah, I think about six is enough and we can always go command D to deselect and you can turn it on and off to see if you can see anything around. It's definitely not noticeable like this. So I am happy to leave it like that. A very small difference but you guys can see it is a difference okay you guys so the next thing that I want to do I, I want to put something like that has the effect like it's glowing here on the side so I'm gonna come over here to our paintbrush or we're gonna click B and let's change the width let's make it nice and big well 
not that big. And what we need to do before we paint straight on this picture, we're going to create a new pixel layer. So we're going to come down here and we're going to select add pixel layer. What this will do guys is anything that we do on here. So if we make a mistake or we mess anything up, it's only going to be on this pixel layer. We can delete it. Everything is going to be okay. I want to get something glowing. So let's say maybe a little bit more. Okay, and you just play around and see what color you want. I'm like very fussy. I'm trying to find the color that I want. Okay, that looks cool. So I'm gonna click here once. Um, now one thing that I'm gonna do as well, we can change the blend mode to give it more of like a mystical kind of feel or like just cool, you know, color. So I'm gonna actually do glow. Okay, and then if it's too much, we can just change it down so we can bring that opacity down again. And you just play around and, and see. And if we want to, like in our group, and we just want to work on this stuff as well, we can always put some vibrance in there. Yeah, and anything that's going to be in the group, for example, if you bring up the saturation, it's only going to be on that group. We're not going to leave that like that, guys. But for example, if we want to bring the saturation down just a tiny bit, and we want to bring the vibrance up, which I'm always liking a lot more, that's it. But that is it, guys. So check it out. This is before. Such a big difference. And that is after. I don't know about you guys, but I am loving that. I am loving that. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next episode.